Hi, this is Chris. I watched an interview recently with Bill Gates. They asked him, what is something that's the most surprising to you about technology? And his comment was that he thought that we would get our television over the internet about 10 years ago. And he, it's kind of surprising to him that we aren't doing that yet. And so I wanted to show you my setup, how I have my computer set up. Now I have my cable hooked up to my television, I mean my computer, so I can watch television on my computer. Here we go. Here, here is my uh, <clears throat> television on the computer. Now I have this small for a reason. I can make it bigger, smaller, any size I want to. That is because when I'm on the internet, now, or excuse me, when I watch TV, I watch TV, and when I'm on the internet, I do the internet. But sometimes I, I'm monitoring a program, I want to see a certain segment of a show, so I kind of keep my eye on it down here. And uh, when I want to, when, when the interesting thing comes up, all I got to do is double click, there it is, full screen. You can watch this full screen, you can uh, change channels. Um, you know, all different ones, go uh, to a channel, you can do all, you know, just watch TV on your computer. Now, one thing <clears throat> that's interesting here. Somebody asked me, where do you get your information for what's on TV? Do you go uh, through the newspaper or do you get TV Guide? And I told her, I said, well, I just get my information off the Internet. It's easier and quicker. Now she says quicker, if you think of an older person who, uh, you know, boots up their computer, sits there and waits and opens up their browser and then searches for TV channels and stuff, they kind of wonder how is it faster to look up on the internet what's on TV. Well, here's what you do. You come to your computer, click on this and boom, there's your TV guide. That's quick, quick and easy lot quicker than fumbling around through the newspaper or TV guide. <clears throat> now what's interesting about this setup on my computer is when you see something here you can click on it get more information. If you want to record the program any of these programs here click on this little red thing click on that my computer set to record that program. What's very interesting about this setup because let's say there's something on in the middle of the night. I can have my computer off, go to bed. My computer will boot up in the middle of the night, record the program, and then shut down. So when I wake up in the morning, get up, come down here, turn on my computer, the program has been recorded. I can go into my uh, recorded programs uh, folder and <clears throat> click on cam uh, uh, show. In this instance here, this is the motocross that was on. And of course, I can watch full screen. This program here is recorded on my computer. Now, <clears throat> the interesting thing is, is somebody would say, why would you want to sit here in front of your computer and watch TV? Why would you want to sit on the couch and watch TV? Well, that's a good question. Look what happens when I take this and slide it off my screen. See that? Slide it off my screen. What happens? Well, let's look. There's my TV. That's my desktop on my TV. Now, of course, I can watch other programs. It's a, it's a regular TV, but I go to my desktop. Now when I slide that over off my screen, shows up on the TV. See that? Slide it over. Now, double click. Voila. I'm watching digitally recorded TV on my computer, and I'm watching it on my TV. And like I said before, I can go anywhere. Like on TiVo, you have to kind of scan through the commercials. I don't have to do anything. I can just go when the commercials are over, 
start it right up. Anywhere, anywhere on that program, I can go to. I can go back. Hey, let's go see that again. Okay, there it is, right there. Go anywhere. So I get that. Slide it back over, and it is back here on my desktop. Now, one of the things that's even more interesting, not only can you record on your computer, watch it on your computer, slide it off onto your TV, but another feature that's very interesting, I watched a show as a kid, it was called The Time Tunnel. <clears throat> It was a really cool show. So I go to the website. Here they have every single time tunnel in order. Watch full episodes. So I can watch full episodes of television shows on the internet. Slide them over and of course I'll be watching them on TV over the internet. Almost any show you can get nowadays on the internet. And you can watch them on the TV. So uh, if you miss a show, you don't record it or something like that, you can just go watch HD quality TV on the internet. It works very good. Uh, now another thing, one last thing. I have a, oh, I, I skipped over something. I have my, uh, the sound also running through my home theater. So if I record a, t uh, a movie, TV program, I can watch it on my TV with my home theater having this surround sound and it sounds pretty good. Another thing is is I have my music on my computer. I don't need to take a CD and put it in my CD player. I just click on it and it plays. That's the thing that's coming up in the future. People say, what's going to replace CDs and DVDs? Well, I tell them nothing will replace it. Nothing? Yeah, you don't have a physical media. You don't need a CD. It's on your computer. Now, I thought about what I'd like to do. I'd like to have a computer that runs my music and my stereo. Ded a dedicated computer. I'd like to have another computer dedicated to my television. And, of course, another computer dedicated to my personal PC. But that's kind of, I, I didn't want to get too into it, you know, and have my whole apartment run by a computer or computers. So, uh, I, I've kind of put off on that, but that's the way it's going. You're going to have your music, it's not going to be a physical media, it's going to be on your hard drive. Movies, they're already downloading them, Netflix and stuff, download right on your TV. You never have a physical media, it's just you don't have anything. What replaces CDs and DVDs? Nothing. There, you don't have anything. So, like here it is right here, there's uh, the uh, time tunnel. And uh, so there's my setup. I think it's um, pretty interesting. I, I really like, uh, you know, you wake up and it's recorded and you slide it over on your TV. It's pretty good. So uh, hope you enjoyed my setup. And uh, maybe I'll do another video when I think of something else to do. Thank you.